Aloha! So this is the standing variation of where to begin. Reminder, we are going to do breathing first, just mindful breathing, and then I'm going to move the spine in all its healthy directions, and then I'm going to do a little rest. I'm going to do a standing rest, but you could choose to do Shavasana lying on the floor. So if you want, um, once you become familiar with these, you can begin threading them together. You could do the lying, you could do the on all fours and the standing series, just play them back to back to back. And that'd be a nice, good little practice there. 30 minute yoga asana practice. But up to you, this is a great place to start. Listen to your body, don't take yourself into a pain. Okay, so I have my mat. Today you might need two blocks for this, or for this series. You might need two blocks if it's challenging to reach to the floor. So I have my blocks with me. Let's begin. We're gonna stand at the top of the mat. I'm gonna bring my feet hip-width apart. I'm just gonna stand in a nice tall mountain pose. So mountain pose or Tadasana, um, our feet are parallel, the alignment between the second toe, ankle, knee, hip, the bony part of the hip, um, is, is your sacred geometry. Another spe uh, quick way to do that is take two fists, place it at the base of your big toes, okay? And here we go, nice tall stance, roll the shoulders down and back. My legs are strong, my belly's drawn in. But I soften through the face and I soften through the shoulders. Bring your awareness to the tip of your nose. You can have your eyes closed or a gentle gaze, maybe at nature or a candle. Shift your awareness to your nose to feel the breath as you breathe in and you breathe out. Allow yourself to arrive on your mat. Let go of your to-do lists. Let go of plans. And just be here as present as possible with your breath, with your movement, with your body. Take a nice deep releasing breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth with a sigh. And so we're gonna begin. We're gonna start with standing cat and cow. I'm gonna do a variation where I'm just bringing my hands to my thighs, but if you want a little more action, you can watch the other video of the standing cat and cow flow. That's another variation. But what I want you to do today is bend the knees slightly, bring your hands to the thighs. With a nice strong belly on the in-breath, you're going to push your hips back towards the back of your mat as you roll the shoulders down and back and lift the sternum gently with the gaze. That's your cow or the extension in the spine. And then on your out-breath, you're going to tuck the tailbone, round the back, chin towards the heart. Cat. Inhale, cow. Breathe in. Breathe out, cat. Inhale, cow. And I'm thinking lifting the chest. Exhale, cat. Really tuck, draw the belly in nice and strong. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do three more of these. You might be going faster or slower. That's okay. Just follow the rhythm of your own breath. One more. Inhale to lift the gaze. Lift the heart and exhale around. Now we're going to hold in cow pose for an extra breath. So extend the spine, nice deep arch. Lift the gaze, just a little soft gaze. Breathe. And on your out breath, round. And we're going to hold this for an extra breath. So tucking the tailbone, nice strong core drawing in and up. Breathe into the backs of the ribs and exhale. As you inhale, slowly come back up to your Tadasana pose. Ah, just notice what that pose did for you. Find your breath. Beautiful. So now we'll move to lateral stretch. So first we're just going to do some side-to-side -side movement. So inhale, reach the arms overhead. And then exhale, right hand to the, to the waist hip. As you press the hip over to the left, reaching over to the right a little or a lot. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, press your hips over to the right as you reach up and over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the other side. So it's a nice, gentle, almost a swaying motion, staying in the same plane. I'm not doing any twisting here, just side to side. Now we're gonna hold, so inhale to lift. 
right hand to your waist, press your hips over to the side, and let your left arm reach straight up at first, okay? Find the core strength, you can stay here, or to really find lateral stretch in more of your vertebra, as long as there's no pain or strain, allow yourself to reach up and over to the right. Beautiful, my core is nice and strong here, my legs are strong, I'm breathing, and trying to breathe now into the lifted ribs, this upper rib cage, breathe. Your gaze can be forward, gently lifted, or down. Finding ease for your neck. Again, in all of these poses, in every pose in yoga, finding that balance between effort and ease. Inhale back up. Other side, so left hand to the waist. You're gonna exhale, press the hip over to the right, and reach the arm, your right arm straight up. Take another deep breath. And exhale, maybe up and over to your left. Notice I'm not collapsing in this bottom shoulder. It's nice, um, I'm, there's a lot of integrity through my neck, keeping my neck nice and strong, but my jaw soft. Most importantly, I'm breathing here. I try to soften through the face as hard as it may be. Allow all the tension, all that strength to come through the legs, the hips, and the core. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Ah, oh, that feels good. Hopefully that felt good for you too, okay? Beautiful, we're gonna move into our twist now. This is where you might need the blocks. So I'm gonna grab the two blocks, bring them to the top of the mat just in case I do. And to get there, we're gonna move into a standing forward fold. So I'm gonna inhale my arms overhead, and then bending my knees, because I just don't know how open my hamstrings are today, I'm gonna bend my knees and come into a forward fold, reaching for the blocks. So I don't need them, I can reach for the floor here, but you might need them. You might come here and be like, oh, there's my edge. So use the blocks, okay? And then you'll let the back of your neck be long. Your belly's drawn up and it's nice and strong. If you can, maybe, you know, the blocks go down one level, another level. And if you don't need them, just place the hands towards the floor. Again, everyone allowing the back of the neck to be long. The core is drawing in and up, especially on the out breath. You're breathing. Now this is that reverse um, motion for the spine, taking gravity and moving it in the opposite direction on the spine. It's really healthy. And then everyone, just bring the blocks back just in case you need them. We're gonna step the uh, we're gonna step the right leg straight back. Okay, and if, if that's challenging for you, you know you can hop it back. And then we're gonna bring the back knee to the floor. If it hurts your knee, you can do two things. You can tuck your mat, okay? You can take a blanket and place it underneath your knee or a folded towel. And then we're gonna untuck our back toes. Now, if, this is where you might need to use the blocks. If you can't reach the floor, or if you were using the blocks in your forward fold, you'll wanna use the blocks to get yourself into low lunge position, okay? So if you were using the blocks, I'll just show it. If you're in your forward fold, you'll use the blocks here and step your foot back, come into your low lunge. So your hands are either on the blocks or on the floor. What I want you to do, untuck the back toes, nice strong foot pressing into the back of the floor. And I want you uh, to move the blocks a little closer to you so that they're about even with the tips of your toes. And then I want you to draw the shoulders down away from the ears, lift the chest and breathe. Beautiful. Now, I want you to keep your hand on the right block, okay? And then you bring your left hand on the thigh I want you to lengthen the spine forward on the in-breath. And as you exhale, you're going to twist open to your left. And stay here. The back leg is still strong. The forward leg is very strong. And my core is drawn in. I'm twisting open to my left. Now here's variations. You can keep your hand here on the thigh, or you might reach it up towards the sky. If there's any pinching in the shoulder, obviously don't do it. And breathe. If you're not using the block, this is what it would look like. Hand on the floor, underneath your right shoulder, left hand to the thigh. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist open. Maybe lift the hand to the sky. Breathe. And again, notice there's integrity between this bottom shoulder and my neck. I'm not collapsing into it. I'm pushing into the floor, pushing my upper body away from the floor and breathing. And again, you want to find comfort for the neck. So if looking up at the hand pinches your neck, look straight ahead or towards the floor. I just want you to breathe and move. And then bring your hands back down. I'm going to use the blocks, but if you don't need to use the blocks, don't. 
Okay, tuck the back toes, and then what you're gonna do is try to bring your foot all the way forward. We're gonna switch sides. So now the left foot is gonna step back. Okay, come into your low lunge, untuck the back toes, walk the blocks so that they're about parallel with the tips of your toes. And if you're not using the blocks, the hands are on the floor. Now everyone, press through the back foot, lift through the chest, find your breath. Nice strong legs, nice strong breath, breathe. Now bring your right hand to your thigh. You're gonna inhale, lengthen the spine forward. And as you exhale, begin to twist towards the right. Okay, as soon as you feel your edge, that place where the sensation is strong that you can still breathe, I want you to hold. If you find that your balance is nice and stable, you might reach the right arm up. And if you're not using the block, what that looks like is left hand underneath the left shoulder, right hand to the thigh, lengthen the spine, and then as you exhale, twist open to the right. Nice strong legs. See if you can release tension from the jaw and the face. See if you can continue to breathe fluidly. And then exhale, bring the hand down. Now instead of stepping forward this time, I want you to step back. Momentarily, come into child's pose. Take a nice deep releasing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then we're gonna move into our final pose. So we're gonna come into down dog. Again, kind of the reversal um, of gravity on the spine. So hands are shoulder width apart. I want you to walk yourself forward so that you're, um, you're kind of in a modified push-up position. You're not quite in a full square here. You're a little stretched out. So if you come into a box or a tabletop position and then walk your hands forward about five or six inches. Um, spread the fingers wide, middle fingers pointing towards the front of your mat. Unless you have tight shoulders, they might point a little away from each other. Tuck the toes. And now nice strong hands, nice straight arms pressing into the mat. And I'm pressing my hips back away from my hands. And notice that my spine is long. Okay? For many people who begin when you go to down dog, if you hear the command straighten your legs and press your hips back, your down dog looks like this. Okay? And we want to find length. We want to find decompression through the vertebra. So the way we do that is bend the knees deeply. And by doing that, it frees up the hips to lift up towards the sky and lengthen, drawing the chest towards the thighs. Back of the neck is long. Breathe. Over time, you might be able to begin pressing your heels towards the floor but always looking for length in the spine first. Beautiful. Okay, look towards the top of your mat. You can walk your feet forward. Use the blocks if you need to. Nice strong core here, bend the knees, sweep the arms up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Hands to your side. And now we'll rest. You may choose to rest on the floor in Shavasana or corpse pose lying on your back. For this video, I'm just going to stand. Let all the benefits of this pose catch up to me. Let my hands soften. Let your face soften. Let your arms soften. Feel free to stay here as long as you like. Thank you for joining me today. It's always been a pleasure to share these practices with you, from my heart to yours, from the kingdom of Bahrain to your living room to your home. Aloha and namaste.